means to destroy this world. We live in a beautiful world. Let's go to war. Everything they've built will fall. So that was the new trailer for X-Men Apocalypse. Just a short spot shown at the uh, Super Bowl. Really cool stuff. A lot of new stuff we haven't seen before in mm -hmm. there. Uh, started right off with some nukes going off. I mean, that was crazy. I think that's part of a vision, though, that Jean Grey's having. I don't think that's a real part of the movie, really. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, in the last trailer, she said something about having some dark vision. She was really concerned. Professor X was trying to ease her. Right. So I think that's what that is. Um, and then straight after that, we get Professor X fighting Apocalypse. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is another one where I don't know if this is really happening or if it's in his mind. Uh, it's hard to tell. But in the comics, Apocalypse did have the ability to grow in size. And we see him doing that and crushing uh, Professor X. And then we cut to our first scene of uh, the new young Jean Grey. You yeah. get Cyclops. And it looks like there's Beast in the background. Yeah, I don't it, think it's uh, Nightcrawler. Yeah, I thought it might be Nightcrawler, but yeah. I see a tail back there. Uh, yeah, that was really cool to see these younger versions of these characters that we got to know in the original trilogy because this movie all takes place in the 80s. Right. Uh, so we'll get to see all of them now. Uh, that'll be that'll be really cool to see how they move forward with that, that storyline. And then it cuts to what most fans are were excited to see <laughs> is a brand new character we haven't yeah. seen who is... Psylocke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she uh, is a huge fan favorite in the comics. Um, uh, play, being played here by Olivia Munn. We've never seen her in the movies before. She cuts right through a car. She like does a flip and cuts through a car with her side blade. Mm -hmm. uh, she has the ability of telekinesis, so she can create these energy kind of weapons uh, with her mind. And she also has a real sword. So she likes close quarters combat. She's slicing and dicing all the time. In the comics, she was kind of back and forth. So it'll be interesting to see if, you know, at the end of this movie, does she end up with the X-Men right, or right. not? Uh, that'll, be, that'll be pretty interesting to see. And then you got Magneto popping in where I think he's on the side of the bad yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, he is. Somehow Apocalypse convinces him. That's mm -hmm. one of Apocalypse's great kind of right. uh, abilities is persuasion. So he persuades uh, Magneto to somehow join his team uh, to kind of take over the world, basically. Um, so, yeah, we see Magneto in a totally new suit. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like Apocalypse might have given him that new helmet, uh, throwing a bunch of metal uh, doing his thing. So yeah, that, that looks pretty cool too. He has a cool look in this movie. And then you get the new Storm, the young yeah, Storm with right. the, the mohawk, yes. the more classic Storm yes, that I know yeah, from yeah, a kid watching yeah. the cartoons. Definitely, yeah. Straight out of the comics from the 80s, she got the mohawk, riding down in a bolt of lightning, you know. Mm -hmm. Looks like she's on the side of Apocalypse too, uh, which is interesting. Uh, she did start off in the comics as a thief. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, Professor X found her and she joined the X-Men. So it'll be cool to see uh, if she ends up with the X-Men as well. It's a whole new timeline, though, so we don't know right. what's going to happen. Then we go to one of my favorites from Days of Future Past, Quicksilver. Yeah. Yeah. I think, you know, much better than the Avengers Quicksilver. Yeah. It, th that scene of him running around, was <laughs> oh, yeah. that's my favorite part of the whole yeah, movie. Yeah, when he breaks Magneto out of the Pentagon, that mm -hmm. was amazing. Uh, it took them, like, I think a month straight to film that scene. And this one, it took them a month and a half to film the scene. So even longer, it's an even bigger scene. Looks like it's in the X-Mansion. He's, like, running through there. Uh, so it'll be cool to see. It looks like he definitely is on the side of the X-Men. They're also going to mention uh, and explain his connection to Magneto. Mm -hmm. He is Magneto's son, son in the, the comics. comics. So yeah. it'll yeah. be really cool to see uh, that connection that was hinted at in Days of Future Past but never really fully explored. Uh, definitely looking forward to more of that character too. And then it looks like, what is that, a, sh a shot of Angel we see? Yeah. And does yeah. it look like he's yeah. fighting Nightcrawler? He's in some kind of a... There was concept art of him in this like fighting cage, like a fight club kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, it looked like he was in that cage and it looks like he's fighting Nightcrawler to me because uh, as he goes to punch him like with his wings, the guy disappears. And so it looks definitely like it's Nightcrawler. Uh, it'd be cool to see more of Nightcrawler in this movie and more of Angel. We've seen them before, but again, younger versions of them now this time. Right. And then it finally ends with Apocalypse grabbing Mystique by the throat. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. Again, a rebooted timeline. We don't know who's going to live and die. Mm -hmm. So... She could go. We don't know. We don't know. Uh, yeah. Jennifer Lawrence, you know, uh, her contract is up after this movie, so they could end up killing her off if they wanted to. I don't see them doing that. 
I think they're going to want her back for more, uh, whether she wants to come back or not. But uh, yeah, Apocalypse looks like a really, really formidable foe for the X-Men in this movie. And uh, I think someone's going to die in this one, too. So how would you explain what's going on right now, timeline-wise, when it comes to X-Men 1, 2, and 3, where you do have Mystique in the original X-Men, sure. where you have uh, Wolverine, and, and they, they battle off and stuff. Yeah. So they could kill her off here, you think? They, I think they could, again, because what happened in Days of Future Past, when, they went back in when Wolverine went back in time, mm -hmm. he basically created a whole new timeline. Mm -hmm. So we have that original trilogy timeline with all the, the old movies, but now we're in a whole different time era, uh, timeline, uh, you know, we have characters like uh, Nightcrawler joining the X-Men now. Mm -hmm. In X-Men 2, he didn't even know the X-Men, you know, right. and he was much right. older. So everything's changed, kind of, basically. Uh, everything is, is on the table, essentially. So it's pretty much, you know, open game for <laughs> who could die or who could be introduced or what okay. could go on. It's yeah. a whole new world. So who do you think will die at the end of this movie? Do you think anyone will die? Maybe not. Maybe they will. What's the next storyline they're going to adapt? I want to know that from you guys. Do you think they're going to do Dark Phoenix Saga again? Do you think they'll adapt something else? Uh, anything's on the table at this point. Also, is Wolverine going to make an appearance in this movie? We don't know. Hugh Jackman, is he going to show up? I, I hope so. I mean, I, he's been in every X-Men movie yeah, since he said the beginning. That he, he's going to eventually stop. Or yeah, he's got he said one more he's, doing, two, he's doing one more one Wolverine, more. but I still hope he appears in this in some way, at least. Even if it's a small cameo like he did in first class. So, so what do you think? Is he going to show up? Leave a comment below. And all you have to do to win this week is leave a comment, and we're going to give away this X-Men necklace. Yeah. And uh, we're going to send it to one person who simply comments. You must comment and subscribe. And uh, we're going to pick somebody at random, and uh, we'll let you know. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the theaters. See you guys.